What is your favorite spring fragrance? Leave it in the comment section below. I would love to know. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I am Sheree. Welcome. If you happen to be returning, thank you so much and welcome back. You are truly appreciated. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a couple, a few. You guys, how many do I have here? Because you already know. Looks like seven. Okay, I'm going to try and stick to seven. I'm going to be sharing with you seven fragrances that are appropriate and that are amazing for spring entering into summer they're nice they're light they're fresh they're airy and one of them is extremely long lasting i've spoke about this on the channel before many 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 times okay i cannot get enough of it also this video is in collaboration with layered fragrances so shout out to them for always sending over amazing fragrances i am talking about yes you probably have guessed it i've talked to so many of you about this fragrance already you guys I am talking about none other than, hello, okay, first kiss, okay? I am still wearing this. I am still talking about it. It is perfect for entering into spring. It was perfect for me in the fall. It was perfect for me in the winter. I have just been wearing this, and you know I was telling you how much I want to get Parfums de Mali de Lina, which this is an inspiration fragrance for, but I just don't want to bite the bullet yet and spend that penny, so I am using my first kiss like every single other day. I absolutely love this. I told you I wore this to the gym. I told you a lady tracked me down in the grocery store to ask me what I was wearing. There's really not enough things that I can say about this fragrance. I know I talked to some of you that watch my Valentine Day um, special and you were telling me you were staying home. Hey, girl and you are wearing first kiss exclusive i have that one as well but this one right here first kiss is my absolute favorite you guys this is long lasting this is going to get in your clothes this is going to stay this is beast mode it's not going anywhere the performance is there the siage is there it just goes on my body and it just meshes so well i told you before some of the notes that it has in it you know i got my notes with me it's got rhubarb it's got lychee it's got a little bit of nutmeg turkish rose peony it's just beautiful all the different notes that it has in it is so fitting for spring so this would be a great way to go layer fragrances do make signature fragrances which are their own signature fragrances and then they also make inspirational fragrances which this is first kiss is an inspiration for perfumes de molly delina and then they make single note fragrances so if you're one for layering you like to layer your fragrances you like to take your fragrances to the next level and mix and match and do all that type of thing it's definitely a great way to do those things they also sent me out a sample of Neroli Sunshine. Now this happens to be one of their single note fragrances. This is really good for that breath of fresh air, fresh, clean, out of the shower, gonna go run some errands, take a trip, you know, to the Whole Foods, the Sprouts, Trader Joe's, do your errands. It's not gonna be in your face. It's not gonna be loud. It's not gonna be off-putting. It's gonna be an anytime, anywhere type of fragrance. It's just very fresh and clean but you need to like neroli i've stated that before you definitely need to like the note neroli but this is one of their single note fragrances so i'll leave all of the information in the description box below to layered fragrances so that you can check it out peruse their website you guys they have tons of different fragrances they've got gelato they've got sunshine they have a new fragrance yeah sunshine that's coming out i'm waiting to get that one so as soon as i get that one i'll share it with you but absolutely hands down my favorite first kiss over and over and over again. I have tons of layered fragrances. This by far is my absolute favorite one. They do have one called um, Frack Me. Okay, I'm gonna leave that right there. That one's really good too, but this hands down is my favorite. I move on. Another one, you guys. I found this one. It came at no surprise. This is for the lady who wants to just go run errands, go to the movies, go to the park, go to the grocery store, go wherever. This is an anytime, anywhere, any day kind of fragrance. It's very feminine. It's very um, fitting for spring, fitting for summer. To me, I put it on my body and it lasts on me about six to seven hours. And it was pretty, you know, potent. It wasn't very light or faint. Or anything like that the siage was there projected well i did read in some of the forums and blogs that it didn't have a good long projection for some people so you know i always tell you fragrance is very subjective so you got to try it out on you and this one i got out of steel what is it Shrey? tell us this one here is by kate spade and it's called walk on air this was really good i was pleasantly surprised i picked this up at the marshall's all i did this was a blind buy i no 
No, it wasn't because I had smelt it at Ulta, but I didn't want to pay that for it. It was nice. It was fresh. I could have put it in my collection, but I didn't like have to have it and I didn't want to pay that price for it. So I was perusing through the Marshalls as I always do, looking for seeing what fragrances have come in, what's new, what's interesting, what's exciting, what's going to pique my interest, right? Happen to stumble over and seeing this here, you guys, I got this for $23, $23. It's a full size bottle. It's a one, what is it? A one seven ounce or is it? It's a 50 mil and I got it and it was a really good price. It's a 50 mil. I got it for like $23. Some of the notes in this one is it's floral green. It's citrus. You guys, it has some bergamot, neroli, jasmine, iris. It's really, really good. You can wear this from church to brunch. You can also wear it to the office. If you had to work with somebody in close quarters, like a cubicle or something, it's not going to be off putting. It's not going to be in your face. Um, girly, feminine, pretty pretty that's how i would describe it girly feminine pretty you know a nice ruffle dress you know taking a walk along the boardwalk or going on the pier or just something like that i just find it very spring summer and very pretty very inviting this is a nice one and this is kate spade walk on air i move on another one of course you knew we were gonna go there chanel low which absolutely means water this is a beautiful classic bottle i mean i always tell you guys who wouldn't want a little chanel in their life if you're looking for something Something that's classy, sophisticated, elegant. You know we're talking about Chanel. I said all of my keywords. Classy, sophisticated, elegant, just really oods a different caliber of a woman. To me, Chanel Lowe would definitely be a way to go. It's a spin on number five. It's much lighter. It's much brighter. It's a little bit citrus. It's kind of powdery. I will say that it's definitely kind of powdery. It's a moderate type of fragrance. It's not going to get on you and go, you know, hard, but it's going to be there. It's going to be, you know, about a six to seven, even maybe an eight hour wear. I would say you can get out of it and you'll still be able to smell it if you spray it in your clothes. Of course, your hair, it's going to be even longer. The thing that I noticed about this that I really like is the spray mechanism instead of just a regular sprayer it comes out almost as a mist and that's really nice and inviting so this is really nice as I mentioned some of the keynotes in here citrus mandarin lang lang this is for like a modern woman you know what I mean you're going into the office you can wear this you're switching out from spring or summer this performs very well I would say you know this one here I do overspray I mean look at it you know I do overspray because it's very powdery but it will last but you do need to go at least six to seven sprays i'm just saying i'm a 10 sprayer but you know on this i do six to seven it's okay because i typically wear it in the day sexy date night no clean office inviting brunch church you know uh where else would you go an amusement park no a play yes a symphony yes you know going out to meet with friends catching up yes a first date only if you didn't want it to go very far. I'm just saying. I'm leaving that right there. I move on. Another one. This one here is nice. I received this as a gift. It was so nice and thoughtful of the person who gave this to me as a gift. And I really like it. It doesn't have a real long, you know, projection in Siage. It doesn't last on the body forever. But I do overspray, as I mentioned. So for me, it does last a good four to five hours. And then, you know, it's like, hello, where are you? Like, hello, where are you? But, you know, you could take it with you if you wanted to, you know, reapply. Or if you didn't want anything. This one I use when I'm going to be in the house. Sometimes I use it when I come home from the gym. And I know I'm just going to be working in the home, but I still want to smell good. I'll put some of this on right out of the shower. You guys, I'm speaking of none other than Mew Mew. I believe that's what it's called. It's cute. They have tons of different ones. They have the one with the red. Out of all of them, they have a new one that came out probably at the top of the year, I believe. I don't know when it came out, but there's a new one that came out that smells a little bit more like berries and strawberries. That one's really nice and fruity, but this is definitely a fresh, clean, airy, nice, you know, upbeat temperament type of fragrance and some of the notes that this one has in it would be like i said it's a white floral it's green rose it's kind of musky you guys it has patchouli lily of the valley honeysuckle it's a very light fresh bright airy type of fragrance and i really like that for the days that i i don't always want don't tell fib straight i don't always want to do the most okay yes i do okay but when i'm trying to do the most but not really do the most but do the most I reach for stuff like this and it's very nice and I really like it. If you got what I meant by that, hit the like button. Have you understood what I meant by that? Hit the like button. If you want to continue to know what I mean by that, hit the subscribe button. Just hit the button. You guys, if you're liking this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed and you like the vibe, 
consider subscribing. Hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell because it'll notify you every single time a video is placed on the channel. I move on. All right, moving into Gucci Bloom. Now, I love Gucci Bloom. Um, I was one, of, in my mind, okay, you guys, I was one of the first ones to get it when it came out. I was at the Gucci store. I told this story many times before and I was walking through and I had happened to look over there and I'm like, oh my gosh, and like, let me smell this. I put it on my arm. I did a wear test. I walked around, you know, Riddell for a little bit of time, about 45, 60, it was longer than that. I had tied a little ribbon on my wrist as well as I sprayed it on my skin. I wanted to see how it meshed with me, how it dried down. I fell in love with it. I really, really love Gucci Bloom and I have two of them, but I love the original more. And that is this one here. The packaging is simplistic. It's so simplistic that I really find it very modern, very chic. It looks very nice on my vanity. It looks so nice sitting up there with the other ones. It's kind of like a shiny finish. It's not really fancy. There's not a whole lot to it. It's just plain, but the simplicity of it just makes it look really chic and elegant. And I really like that. I told you that. When I explain this fragrance, if this is your first time watching it, you guys, I explain this as you have it on your most lightest format of clothes. Oh, I have something to show you what I mean. Mm. Okay. So picture something like this, right? And imagine it to be white. You see how thin this is? You can still see me through it. Hello, 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 ooh. Okay, so it's, picture you just wrapping yourself. Okay, you're gonna need some undergarments because this is completely see-through. But just picture yourself wrapping yourself in something like this, so luxurious, right? And you have just ran through a field full of flowers, bouquets, honeysuckles, gardenias, just, I mean, peonies, just every single flower rolls that you can have. That's what you ran through. And it seems like they just gathered all those, put them in the bottle, added some oil, and I know this is not how you make fragrance, but this is what it smells like to me. And then you sprayed it out. And when you spray it out, you get Gucci bloom it is so pretty it is very rose and i don't find it to be an old rose it is a unique rose it is a different rose but i do not find it to be old i think it's nice i think it's modern i think it's chic now this to me is long lasting on me i could get at least eight to ten hour wear out of this as i mentioned i probably have over sprayed it at least six to ten times but i'm just saying i can get a great longevity from this fragrance it performs very well on me so on this one some of the notes would be two bros i absolutely love two bros some of my favorite notes and fragrances are two bros uh patchouli Black currant, vanilla, jasmine. Okay, I can go on and on. Trey, please just get to the video. Um, white floral, <laughs> it's powdery. Um, it's honeysuckle, jasmine bud, ragoon creepers. That might not be the right way to say that, but that's a note in it too. It just really is good. It's very inviting. If you have not tried Gucci Bloom, you guys, definitely get your nose on it. It's definitely worth the whiff. They had a red one that came out as well recently here, and I did smell that one as well. I did like it. It was nice, but to me, it was just too similar to this to add that one to my collection. I don't know. I might get it. If you come back to the channel and I got it, I mean, I don't know. Maybe somebody gifted it to me. I don't know. I move on. Another one in that same family is Gucci Bloom Defore. It is an amazing fragrance. Longevity on here, sillage, projection, everything is really good, okay? It lasts for at least eight to ten hours, just as Gucci Bloom. I don't know what's in here that makes it last so long on my skin, but it just really performs really well. Some of the notes in this one would be it's a white floral two bros it's fruity floral it has off massum in it and i know i'm making that word up and i'm saying it wrong off Osmosum? Okay, whatever. Girl, it smells like spring. Okay, it smells like a spring day into summer. Would you find it to be office appropriate, Sheree? Yes, it can be office, work, school, church, symphonies, plays. You name it, it can go there. Date night or sexy. I always, that's what I do, you guys. I always have to see if a fragrance is date night worthy. Why? Because that's where I rock my fragrances. You know what I mean? That's where I put on a fragrance and I'm like, oh, like what mood? What am I feeling? Where are you taking me? Where are you transporting me? These ones are nice because sometimes I do have afternoon dates. Sometimes I do have day brunches. Sunday's a vibe. I always pick out something like this for one of those type days. I'm coming from church. I'm going to brunch. I don't want to be anybody's face, choking them out. So I try and be, you know, respectful of others. I'll reach for something like this. Yes, this is nice. Gucci Bloom Defore. Okay, and if I'm making that up and I pronounced it wrong, forgive me. But I believe I'm saying it right. Gucci Bloom Defore. I don't know. 
know I might be saying it right, but it's it's good good If you haven't given it a whiff make sure you get your nose on it give it a whiff I move on all of these will be in the description box below no need to worry I've got you covered I'll put the link there So all you have to do is click on it and you can see exactly what fragrances that I'm talking about If you have any fragrances that you like for me to try or sample or review Please leave it in the comment section below if you don't like doing that type of stuff I know some people don't feel comfortable leaving comments. That's fine You can always go over and you know chat with me and my DM over on Instagram I'll put my Instagram handle in the description box as well. Anyways, you guys, I do have to get out of here. I'm heading down for church, and then I'm going to go to brunch, and then I'm going to do a little, like, shopping. You know, I was thinking, somebody said it, Mel, shout out to you, that I should get, like, a t-shirt that says, brunch is a mood. You know what I mean? Or brunch mood. I love it. I'm in a whole different vibe, a whole different mood when I go to brunch. It's like, hello, darling. Yes, I have my sunnies on. I've got my hair slicked and tucked behind my ear. I'm giving a whole different vibe. Okay. I have so much fun talking to you guys. You guys, I have got to go. Okay, until next time, I will see you in the next video. You know the drill. Be blessed, stay fit, and definitely stay fabulous. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.